Wes from Carl Wesley Sewing Patterns here. Welcome to my tutorial on sewing a slouchy beanie. If you don't already have this pattern, you can purchase it from the link in the description. This is a really great uh, beginner serger pattern for learning how to sew stretch fabrics. So I've already got my pattern assembled and cut out, and I just want to point out these two black triangles on the beanie band. These are going to uh, be little notches you need to snip to aid in matching the seams later. Also, I want to note these long lines on the pattern pieces. These are to indicate the greatest stretch of the fabric, which is usually along the crosswise grain. Uh, I also want to note that these pattern pieces are cut out single layer, and this pattern is for four-way stretch fabrics. So let's go ahead and do our cutting. When cutting stretch knits, I pretty much always recommend using a rotary cutter and pattern weights because when you cut with scissors, things tend to shift around a little bit and your pattern pieces are gonna come out funny. Uh, rotary cutting is also just quite a bit faster than pinning all your pieces down and using scissors. So this fabric I'm using is a four-way stretch brushed jersey knit but really any four-way stretch knit will work great for this pattern as long as it's one that feels nice on the skin. And now, uh, alternatively, you could also get some stretchy fleece and you could use that to make a warmer beanie. So I'm cutting those notches I mentioned on the beanie band, so we're gonna use those to match the seams later. Now the shaping uh, cut out on the top of the main piece is a bit difficult to get with your rotary cutter, so you probably will need to get out your scissors to snip that triangle shape out of there. Now also the main body piece is one that needs to be cut twice, so we're going to move our pattern piece over uh, and go ahead and cut that one a second time. Once you've got your cutting done, these are the three pieces that you'll have. Next, we're going to sew the shaping darts at the top of the main piece. So first, we're going to fold uh, our main beanie piece in half, right sides together. And then we're going to head to our serger. Using a, a 3 8 seam allowance, we're going to surge from the opening of the shaping cutout to the point and then off the fabric. If you're a beginner to using your serger, the standard seam allowance is a 3 8 of an inch, and typically that runs right along the edge of the throat plate of the serger, but you may need to measure or double check in your manual depending on your specific machine. And now we're going to do the same thing on the second piece. This is what you'll have after you've sewn those shaping darts. Now these thread tails in the middle of the fabric, we need to secure them and cut them off because they won't be caught on a seam later. I'm just going to put a small dab of fray check on them and cut them off. Yeah. 
you could also just back tack over the seams with your straight stitch machine. Next, we're going to put our main beanie pieces right sides together and serge around the arch. The remaining thread tails will be cut off in the process. Now that we've sewn the arch, we're going to turn this piece right side out. Next, we're going to fold the beanie band in half, right sides together, and sew the short ends to make a tube. Next, we're going to take the tube that we just made and fold it in half all the way around wrong sides together so that the raw edges match. Now that we have the band completed, we're going to attach it to the main beanie piece. And to do this, we're going to be sewing together all three raw edges in the round. To get this ready to take to the serger, you're probably going to want to use some pins or sewing clips. First, we're going to match the seam and the band to one of the seams on the main beanie piece. And on the opposite side of the beanie, we're going to use the snips that we made to match the band to the other seam. I'm going to add just a few more clips so this is uh, nice and secure and ready to take to the serger. Now we've got all three raw edges matched up and we're ready to take this to the serger where we're going to attach the band to the main beanie piece in the round. Now I'm going to remove part of the sewing surface on my serger, and that's going to make the sewing arm smaller so it's easier to sew in the round. However, the opening of the beanie is large enough so that if you don't have this feature on your serger, it really shouldn't be a big deal. Now to get started sewing, you just need to serge onto the fabric at any point around the tube. And remember, we're going to match the seams and notches as we're sewing. And those uh, thread tails are just going to get cut off as we pass the seam. You may want to take this part a little bit slowly because you have to remember you are sewing three layers together and we want the edges to all be lined up evenly. As you come up to a clip or a pin, Make sure you take that out before you sew that point because that's either going to damage your serger if you sew over it or it's going to fly off and shoot across the room. Something else I want to note here is that I'm letting the machine pull the fabric through on its own. I'm not putting any additional stretch or tension on the fabric. Once you've gone all the way around, 
go ahead and overlap your starting stitches about an inch or so. Then you're going to lift the presser foot, pull your beanie behind the machine, and go ahead and keep stitching to get a chain that's long enough that you can snip it off. And this is what we have when we're finished. Since we overlapped our stitching at the end, I'm not worried about the thread coming undone. We can just go ahead and cut off the thread tail. And finally, the last thing we need to do is turn the beanie band down. And voila, your slouchy beanie is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on sewing a slouchy beanie from Carl Wesley Sewing Patterns. If you have any questions or need additional help, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Happy sewing!